What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today guys we're going to be looking at the 9 bolt one So this is it here, as you can see it's massive and it also weighs an absolute ton, which is why I'm putting it down on the floor. So if you don't know, Segway, which is that big brand that makes the things like that, actually owns 9Bot and they create all of the range. So we're going to be focusing on this, which is called 9Bot 1. E plus. So guys, I'm going to give you a quick little tour going around the whole thing. As you can see, we've got this big plastic shell going all the way around. And then on this bit here, we actually have an LED strip on the inside. If I go ahead and just turn it on, you can see we've got that LEDs going there, which just shows when it's ready. They can actually flash when it's on, but I've actually disabled this feature just to save a bit more power. So it does make a little high-pitched sound when it's on. As you can see, we've got a handle up here. And if I bring it forward, you can see already it's balancing itself. Now, to keep it nice and comfortable, we actually have these pads here, which is just where your legs go. Now, when I first was learning to ride this, my legs were getting absolutely battered by these things here. So they are actually quite useful and they just keep it nice and comfy when you're riding it. We've got these little metal things here which are absolutely essential because that is where your feet go and they just fold up nicely like that and they just click in with magnets there. And the feet pads on here actually lean forwards a little bit which helps you to get going. And then just around the back we've got where we plug in our power cable and then we've got our tyre down there which is, after a few months of using this, is still very, very pumped up and ready to go. And there we go guys, as you can see we can go forwards and we can go backwards absolutely fine, just like that. And I've been using this for a few months now so I'm actually quite good at riding it when you first get it you will be frustrated with this thing but that's all part of it and it is actually really really fun once you get the hang of it so the unicycle is very very solidly built and as I mentioned before it is actually very very heavy as well this thing weighs in at just over 14 kilograms so this means that getting on and off a train is absolutely no problem however if you've got loads of meetings and you've got to walk a long way with this thing it is going to weigh you down throughout your day so I'd recommend that you have a safe place to store it so the battery will get you around 18 miles of range, but where I live it's very, very hilly and hills have a massive effect on the motors, which means more power is being used. So you just have to take that into consideration that these measurements are taken on flat ground. Okay, so because this thing uses electric motors, it's actually very, very quick accelerating. If I slow right down, this is probably as slow as you can go without falling off. Here we go. And there we are, those beeps mean that you're going full speed. So the unicycle's top speed is 14 miles an hour or 22 kilometers an hour. And if you exceed this, it will beep at you and then start to kick you back to slow you down. So the actual feet pads will actually move like that and that will mean obviously you'll slow down. Now this is for good reason because if you overpower those motors, the gyroscope system could cut out. So once you get past the initial start and learning to ride one of these things, it is actually very, very fun to do so. Now it is actually surprisingly easy to maneuver as long as you're not going too fast. You can easily just slow down and then use your shoulders to turn and then your whole body will follow, which means the wheel will follow as well. Now balancing on one wheel, I personally have never fallen off, touch wood. But I always wear a helmet when I'm going on a longer journey or if I'm going really fast or on bigger roads just to keep me nice and safe. So I recommend that you guys do that as well, especially when you're learning to ride one of these things because it is quite hard to at the start. But once you get it, it is actually very, very easy to do so. And it really doesn't take anything out of you because it's the electricity doing all of the work for you. All you've got to do is lean forward, lean back and make sure you don't fall over left and right. But anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a thumbs up down below. Also, please subscribe here if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.